The CEOs of Ripple recently accidentally revealed an XRP price target of $35,000. You must view this if you are interested in XRP or if you own any XRP coins. What recent XRP news is there, and how will this affect the price of XRP? These are the queries I'll be addressing in today's video, along with all the brand new facts regarding XRP that is expected to enhance its price and how there is still a good chance you may make a million dollars from it. You should watch the entire movie to catch all the price-boosting information because I put a lot of study into it. With a $629 million trading volume over the past 24 hours, the price of XRP today is $0.47. The price of XRP has decreased 8% over the last 7 days and 0.4% during the past 24 hours. A total of 100 billion XRP coins are available, with 48 billion currently in circulation. Please be aware that by the time you watch this video, some prices may have changed. Please conduct your own research before investing, because this information is not financial advice and trading in cryptocurrencies is risky. Coin, Atoro, and Gadub are some of the busiest exchange websites if you're trying to buy or sell XRP. Okay, let's go on and stop wasting time. Let's watch the video now. The judge advises Ripple and the SEC to negotiate a settlement to the XRP litigation dispute. Change in the Ripple SEC legal dispute's momentum, the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry has been closely following the Ripple SEC court struggle, which has just taken an important turn. The hearings are being presided over by U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres, who has urged both Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, to rethink a resolution and maybe engage in settlement negotiations. The settlement order, the court has set a pretrial conference for April 16, 2024, which requires both parties to participate in an in-person discussion while being accompanied by their legal counsel, underscoring the seriousness of the situation. After at least an hour, anticipate breaking up. The potential for striking the settlement will be discussed at this conference. Legal experts' observations point to a dwindling likelihood that the SEC will prevail in this case. As a result, some professionals concur with Magistrate Sarah Netburn that a settlement would represent a workable course of action. Judge Netburn, who is in charge of the pretrial process, had previously emphasized the significance of any potential settlement talks. She provided specific instructions, noting that three mutually suitable dates for a settlement discussion must be chosen, ensuring a window of six to eight weeks for thorough preparation prior to the pretrial meeting. Position and previous attempts towards resolution. In light of the litigation's past, it's important to note that the parties have twice gone down the path of settlement negotiations, though they were unable to come to an agreement. These discussions took place against the backdrop of Ripple's important July court victory. The well-known brand in cross-border payments, Ripple, has been open about its position. If XRP's regulatory classification is crystal apparent, the firm shows a definite preference towards settlement. It's interesting that the SEC's position hasn't changed despite the court separating XRP from securities. Gary Gensler, the chair of the SEC, has come under fire for the Commission's harsh litigation strategies, but he has shown unflinching conviction in his opposition to the developing cryptocurrency industry. The SEC's appeal against Ripple's prior victory was just rejected by the court, further complicating the story. Stakeholders are positive about the future of the mandatory settlement discussions and are looking forward to the upcoming meeting in contrast to previous futile efforts. If you're still watching, you can support the channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. And keep an eye on everything to avoid missing anything. Let's stop wasting time now. Let's begin discussing. The XRP community anticipates very favorable prices in conjunction with the expected launch of smart contracts on XRPL. The XRP community continues to be quite optimistic about the XRP price despite the current unfavorable market conditions and the ongoing Ripple lawsuit. Jimmy Valley, CEO of Valhalla Capital, and his $35,000 for purchase price forecast for the seventh largest cryptocurrency are at the heart of debate in the XRP community. Instead, Ng, an XRP user, thinks the currency may hit $50,000.
There was undoubtedly some skepticism around the projections. In reaction to everyone who claimed that this was impossible, crypto user John Good tweeted in reference to remarks made by the CEO of Waffle Capital. Please learn more about ISO 20.022 and the new global payment ecosystem. He continued, Jimmy Valley is merely stating that each coin must be equivalent to the assets it is moving for XRP to be the cross-border payment token. If so, a price for XRP needs to be established. Market capitalization and bull bear runs will no longer be relevant for XRP. I won't believe it until I see it, but I'm optimistic because of all the information I've learned about the new ecology. Despite how slowly the Ripple SEC litigation is moving along, optimism is still present due to more XRPL use cases. Pierce's technology, a Ripple partner, recently declared the opening of Colombia's first national land registry on the XRPL blockchain. On XRPL, smart contracts will make their debut. Developer of XRPL YTC Wind claims that XRPL Ledger now has a testnet that supports smart contracts. According to XRPL Labs, Hook's testnet v2 was released a few months ago. Additionally, it debuted Hook's Builder, a web-based development environment that lets programmers create Layer 1 smart contracts for XRPL and then test, deploy, trigger, and debug them. According to a series of tweets by XRPL Labs, the endeavor is the culmination of work that started two years ago. Its goal is to make XRPL Ledger compatible with smart contracts, which includes this activity. On Ripple's XRP Ledger, developers can now create Layer 1 smart contracts. Developers may now test, debug, and publish Layer 1 smart contracts on XRPL using Hooks Builder, a web-based environment that was just released by Ripple's XRPL Labs, the software development business behind the XRPL Ledger. Leading XRPL Ledger developer YTC Wind also disclosed the development, I'm biased, but it's one of the major things for the XRPL Ledger. With our recently released browser-based hooks builder on our LiveHooks testnet, anyone in the globe may now create Layer 1 smart contracts on the XRPL Ledger. He claimed in a tweet that the rippled PR and the entire hooks source code were now available to the public. We would like to make it clear that this is not a platform designed expressly to offer financial advice, and we are not requesting that you invest in any particular business. This is just a route used to deliver instructional material to your door. 